a minute since I've done a content video for you guys, so I'm super excited to be here today. I got a little setup going on. I'm not loving my badge up right now, but we're gonna ignore that. Put all the focus on me, okay? Wait, as, as the focus defocused. Now, but if you've been here before, welcome to my channel. My name is Sweets Color, not Sweets Color, Sweets Color. Make sure you guys hit the like, and if you like what you see today, make sure you subscribe and send me, you know, some comments, some feedbacks, and suggestions in the comment section below. So today's video, we're gonna be doing my top ten most complimented fragrances. If you haven't been here before, like I said, I speak very fast, so put on your arms, your sub, your subtitles. I can't help it. I'm sorry. That's just, that's me. I'm from the style. I talk fast, but yeah, I get to. I actually had this video like um, requested quite often, more on. My TikTok and Instagram, but I want to do one for both. One for my Instagram, TikTok, and then one for YouTube. So, yeah, this is going to be my um, complimented perfumes. Um, and also, very beginner-friendly perfumes. If you, like, just want to blind buy, a lot of these are going to be a go for you. So, getting into it, we're going to do a uh, rating from number 10 to number 1. Number 1 being my most, most, most complimented perfume out of the 10. So, first, we're going to start off with what y'all think it is. I know, I know a lot of the girls have this one. This one is YSL Libre. Now, now I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be honest now. This one is one of my most complimented, but really mainly from the women. Because this one of them fragrance, when you walk in a room, it's turning heads. Like, it's one of them grown and sexy. I'm mature. I'm walking down in business. I wear suits. But sometimes I like to get a little, I want to go out in a club and I want everybody to turn their heads and look at me. Now, when I first got this fragrance, I cannot lie to you. When I first smelled it, I'm like, what is the hype? I'm like, I do not like this. The more I smelt it, the more I begin to appreciate that this really is a grown and sexy and elegant fragrance. So hold on, I'm going to tell you the notes so I keep looking down. All right, so the notes in YSL Libre are the top notes of lavender, mandarin, orange, black currant, and pedigree. Middle notes are lavender, orange blossom, and jasmine. Base notes is Madagascar vanilla, musk, cedar, and em ooh, embridus. Embridus, don't give me the line. But yeah, so it's one of them grown and sexy, like musky, just not not everybody's fave, but it, it will grow on you, but it ain't for the faint of heart, it ain't for the light hearted, it ain't for the, I want to smell super sweet. This is for like, I'm, I'm grown. You know, sis. Okay? That's what that one is. So going into the next one is going to be um, Jimmy Choo Illicit. Now, these is one of the perfumes I did get gifted to me, and it wasn't at a regular like Jimmy Choo spot, like an Ulta or um, Sephora. I actually got mine out on the perfume stores that be inside the outlet malls. But <clears throat> 10 out of 10 recommend. Was obsessed with this when I first got it. I guarantee you I used most of this perfume when I got it, like literally. I haven't, haven't touched it in a while, but it's definitely a great fall scent, just like... Um, why I sell Libre, I would definitely recommend recommend in the fall. So the notes in this one is going to be, it got top notes of ginger and orange at the heart. Uh, top notes of ginger and orange at the heart has rose and jasmine. And it's finished with honey, amber, and saddlewood. So again, one of the still one of them little strong. When you walk by, you're going to smell you. People are going to compliment you. Like, it's giving fall, it's giving growing, it's giving sexy. Definitely a nighttime perfume. Going to go on a date. Go out to the club. You know, like one of them. I want people to, I want people, when I walk in the room, I want some attention, honey, okay? Why you sell this? I mean, Jimmy Choo All right, so next we're going to go into Coach um, Sunset Dreams. Now, mind you, sometimes I sleep on this one. I've been forgetting this in my collection. But every time I wear this, somebody's literally stopping me and see what I got on. When I come into the office and I sit in somebody's car, they're like, oh, you smell good. So don't sleep on, don't sleep on Coach. I know a lot of y'all trying to be all like, y'all too good for Coach. Don't be too good for Coach. This fragrance smells very, very good. I say that to recommend, last on you all day, wash your clothes, Wash your, wash your arms, wash, wash your hands, I mean, <laughs> wash your arms. Still gonna smell it. Um, one of the ones that smell, you smell all day. This one opens with fruity notes of pear and bergamot, revealing a heart of jasmine flowers. Um, and then it has tonka bean and vanilla based notes. So, one of still good for the fall. Vanilla, you know, vanilla. Um, it's really, it's actually very strong, but it's also like you can wear it from the daytime to night. Like, it ain't only night, it's only day. It's really one that you can wear all day. 10 out of 10. Definitely recommend. All right, the next one is going to be Lancome's Idol. Y'all, I was obsessed. Can't even talk, y'all. I was obsessed with this perfume when I first got it. Another one that I wear very often in the beginning. Um, slept on it a little bit. Been sleep on it. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to put it back on. I'm about to use it all. Would I buy this again if it ran out? Yes, I would. Um, the notes in this one has pear, bergamot, pink pepper, middle notes of rose and jasmine, base notes of white vanilla, white musk, vanilla, patootie. Patchouli and cedar. So clearly I got a thing for vanilla, I guess. But I thought I didn't have a thing for vanilla. But I don't like strong, like straight vanilla. I don't like straight vanilla. 
but um and patchouli because i think we got patchouli in them but yeah so this is this is lancome i do to me this is like a light fragrance i wear this throughout the day when i wear it i'm telling you people are turning heads that's what i have on to the point where I feel like you can wear this at night as well. Like this is, I, I like come to the big one with this one. I really, 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 really like this one. Like out of the ones I just said, this one and Elicit are probably my top. Out of the, at the bottom four, those are my top two. All right, so next we're going into YSL Black Opium. Now, I know a lot of the girlies heard about this and I know a lot of girlies got a lot to say either you love it or you hate it. Me, love Black Opium. I love YSL since in general. If this ran out today, I'll go get it tomorrow. Like, I'm not letting this go out of my collection. Like, I definitely will rebuy this one as well. Uh, very sexy, very elegant, very sultry type of uh, scent. A lot of the girlies say, like, this is like, uh, everybody, because everybody loves it. Everybody loves black opium. I'm going to tell you how to know. So, the notes in this one is going to be top notes of pear, pink pepper, orange blossom, bitter notes of coffee, jasmine, bitter almond, and licorice. Yeah, licorice. Um, with, with base notes of vanilla patchouli cedar and cashmere wood so very strong sexy and, and intoxicating make you make you want to just make somebody want to eat you like ooh, girl you smell come on. like ooh, this ooh, you can smell this you know when somebody walks past you with black opium on you know it definitely if you don't get nothing out of one today and you're scared about perfume blind black opium is not gonna go wrong i definitely say nighttime sexy day Maybe, maybe even a little night. Spray it on your ankles. I ain't say that. Love. Get it. Buy it blind. Not gonna stick it wrong. I promise you. Alright, next we got another YSL. I don't know what's up with me and not and losing my tops. Y'all mind your business. That's my business. Stay in y'all business. Thank you. Nah, but this is YSL Mon Perry. Let me tell you something about this one. This is my first big girl perfect I ever bought in my life. This was in 2016 when I was stationed in Camp Camp Casey. Now I was at K16 Korea when I first went activity. This right here was my signature scent from 2016 into 2021. I wear the scent every fucking day. I'm not exaggerating. This right here is I I love it. This is I, I will never not have this in my collection. I always smell it on people when I walk by. I know exactly what it is. It was to the point I wore this so much that when I used to go to work, people would know I was at work because they could smell my perfume. That's how I feel work. But it smells good. Like, this is, I still freaking love this fucking perfume. So the top notes are going to be strawberry, raspberry, pear, orange, tangerine. I think it says cabernet, cabernet, cabernet. Don't give me the line, y'all. Shit. Um, bergamot, middle notes of uh, jasmine, Chinese, ja Chinese jasmine. It got a lot, actually, this has a lot of notes in it. So, how to make, how to make it sound cute, they say notes of red berry, white Dracula flower, um, and white musk. So, and they got some patchouli in there. I don't know. I, I thought I didn't like patchouli. I could have patchouli and me and vanilla go together real bad. But, also, 10 out of 10 recommend. A staple in my collection. Definitely when I, I, I bought it again and again and again since 2016. So, I definitely recommend it. Alright, so the next one is going to be, this one is a dossier perfume. Um, this is a dupe for Armani C. If you never had a dossier, they are basically a perfume company that creates dupes um, for high-end perfumes for $39 to $49, maybe $59 at the most. Um, and they, they smell exactly like they do. So if you're a little scared to spend two, three hundred dollars, or even a hundred some dollars on a pair on a perfume, you always can go to Dossier Perfumes, go on their website, find one that you like that you want to try, order it, get it sent to your house. Shipping is a one fast, um, and also if you don't like it, you get to send it back. But then you go boom, you get one a dupe, you get a dupe, you're like oh I have to have the full buy, I want the legit one, and now you ain't spending much money, or you get it and you hate it, you're lucky you didn't spend three hundred dollars on that perfume. So this is a dupe for Armani C. Now let me tell you something. Every time I wear this perfume, people are dropping a draw. Okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm telling y'all today, honest truth. Every time I wear this perfume, somebody's literally following me, asking me about it. girls, guys. I sit in the car, I walk in the building. What are you wearing? Armani C's. Let me tell y'all notes. So this one has notes of top notes of uh, black currant nectar, a heart of uh, freesia, and rose of my uh, with a musky, uh, musky blonde wood base. So clearly. Me, I'm, I'm shocked how much vanilla I like. And I could have swore I don't like vanilla, but I don't even smell the vanilla. This smells so good. I love it. Like, I'm going to get the real one. I saw it in the store the other day. I was picking it up. I was like, I got, I'm going to use all of this one first and then go get the actual bottle. But, again, I recommend all these blind by, like, blind by. Because they're, they're like just fan faves. They're fan faves. You can't go wrong. All right, next we're going into another staple in every girl's collection. Almost everybody has at least one of the heels 
<laughs> from Carolina Herrera. This is Carolina Herrera Good Girl. Um, another one of the walk past, walk in the room, everybody and their mama, male, female, granddaddy, uncle, cousin, sister, brothers, all want to know, what are you wearing? What is that? You're just Carolina Herrera Good Girl. But really, is she, <laughs> am I really a good girl? So lame. Anyway, the notes in this one are going to be almond, coffee, bergamot, and lemon. Middle notes of, uh, Two bros or two bro, two 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 bros, jasmine, um, orange blossom. <clears throat> we got a lot of rose in there. Base notes of taka bean, vanilla, perline, sandalwood, amber, musk, cashmere wood, cinnamon, patchouli, and cedar. So, a whole lot of a whole lot of power packed in here. Walking the room, bam! You can can't be one of those. Ten out of ten, breaking man, baby, get you to on that Now we're getting into our basically now. This is in our top three, so we got two more left. Next is going to be Jimmy Choo and Jimmy Choo Forever. Oh, Jimmy Choo, I want you. And Jimmy Choo, I want you forever. Oh, my God. Y'all probably think I'm capping. The last, the top three, I'm telling you, no matter where I go, somebody's going to stop me throughout the day. I'm putting this one up. This one, they smell very similar to me. I could be tripping, but they smell very similar to me. So, I, I, I broke this one, so I got this one. Um, I was walking in a water pool, and that's, like, outside. For those who don't know what a water pool, I'm basically walking in a... Uh, a open fence that has mad trucks in it and I'm walking through the walking through and I pass some people not even pass them they can smell me in the wind and was like ah, what are you wearing what, what you got on today they literally can smell me in the wind I don't know Jimmy Choo doing his big one if y'all sleep on Jimmy Choo wake the fuck up cause they they doing something okay 10 out of 10 recommend both of these um, let's talk about the notes that's in these notes. Okay, so the notes that are in Jimmy Choo, I want you, it says top notes of mandarin, velvet, and peach, middle notes of red spider lily, jasmine, sambrac, um, base notes of vanilla, bezoni, and resinoid. Y'all don't give me the line if I'm saying these wrong. Mind your business! Mind your business. Um, and Jimmy Choo Forever, it says it has bitter almond and rose, middle notes of cherry, velvet, and jasmine, base notes of vanilla, tonka bean, Oak moss and amber. So it says a fruitier, ver a fruitier version of Jimmy Choo. I want you. So the first one, is a, the second one is a fruitier. What, Tia? Jimmy Choo Forever is a fruitier version of Jimmy Choo. I want you. So very similar fragrances. I recommend both of them. To me, Jimmy Choo, Jimmy Choo Forever is a little more stronger to me. Even though it says fruitier, to me it, come, it has much more of a power, powerful punch. I can't talk today. I just got my braces again. That's probably what it is. I'm not used to my braces no more. Okay. So next, we're going into my number one. So who has the number one spot? Y'all not going to believe. Y'all not going to believe who got the number one spot. Y'all not going to believe this. I know y'all going to talk shit. The, the perfect girl is going to talk about me. But it's the truth. I can't. Uh, hey. Beginner friendly. Everybody loves it. You're going to smell good. Somebody's going to tell you it every time you wear it. This is going to be Dose and Gabbana. Dose and Gabbana. The one and only. Oh, I'm talking about the one and only. The only one. Y'all. I literally was wearing this. I walked up the stairs and was standing in the hallway. A guy walked up the stairs after me, didn't see me, and was like, I don't know what you're wearing, but I can smell you through the hallway. Excuse me, say what? I smell that good. You smell that hallway. Yeah. And clearly, I liked it too. Um, like I said, these are all fragrances you can blind by. They're fruity, sweet, vanilla chocolatey, chocolatey, I mean, coffee, like. They are going to be fan frames. <clears throat> You're not going to have to worry about if anybody's going to think you'll sneak. I generally feel like you can buy all those blind buy. If the notes that I are and I'm giving y'all, y'all kind of feel like, okay, I can see myself wearing that. Um, only one I feel like is one of the ones that you're going to be like, uh, I don't know about that one. Is YSL the bird because that's not, that's not everybody's fan. That's not everybody's cup of tea. It wasn't my cup of tea until I grew up a little bit. Now it's my cup of tea. Okay, so the notes in that is going to be top notes of velvet, orange, bergamot, Middle notes of coffee, pear, iris, orange, blossom, and rose. Base notes are caramel, vanilla, and patchouli. So vanilla, patchouli, coffee, just been winning the winning the race right here. I think these are 10 perfumes that are good for beginners. Um, they're fan phase. A lot of people are going to like them. They're going to feel good. You're going to feel sexy in them. Um, those are my 10 literally most complimented perfumes. No matter where I go, I'm getting a compliment. So like I said, very beginner friendly. Then when you start doing more research, you start trying more stuff. You're like, hey, I'm starting to learn, you know, what niche fragrances are. And like the, you know, when you, you know, when people walk in the room and know you, oh, I know what you got on. That's, that's that time forward. That's that um, perfume to Marley. Like, that's, uh, that's another one that's too expensive. That's, I got a Louis Vuitton over there. Um, because I want Delina real bad. Delina, me and Delina, I want to get her. 
Let me tell you, I love Delina. Um, but Creed and all that, you start getting to your higher end perfumes, like higher hair, I mean, like you're spending $300 on a perfume. These are more like price pointed, uh, I say from like 75 to maybe 100 and maybe 110, 120, depending on the size that you're getting. So definitely beginner friendly. I definitely recommend all of these. Um, I hope if y'all go buy them or you try them, comment down below which one you tried. If you like it, even if you go smell it, just go smell them and see if it's <laughs> smell them and, and, and write and comment down below and tell me, oh girl, you was right. I'm gonna say, I know. Put it on, sis. But yeah, um, if you guys have any suggestions for me to try, put those in the comment section below. I'll be, I'm so excited. I really have a, a collection of like 45 perfumes. I'm, 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 I am I'm, went down a rabbit hole. Once you start, ain't no going back. So again, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Those are my 10 most complimented fragrances, and I think you guys should try them. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.